Hey, welcome to Cars of the Week. I'm uh, Bayesan, and I'm I'm joined with um, Night Shadow. How's it going? And as usual, we're just going to do the cards of this last week. So, the first card is uh, from Gigant. Blazing Frame to Casa, 2195 uh, Gigant and Protect. And during the start of your climax phase, reveal the top deck. If that card's at level 0 and lower, you have you randomly discard one card from your hand, and it has Hand Encore. Oh, it has Clock Encore, my bad. First off, is there has there been an effect of randomly discard uh, like randomly do something? Yes, yes, there was. And what are the official rules on that? It's like, I just yeah. want to clarify that it's not like so simple as like shuffling your hand face down and letting your opponent pick one, right? Um, actually, that's actually how, that's actually how simple it is. Your opponent randomly picks a card from your hand. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, good number, a good number of itemizer cards says randomly, you, uh, you, ram you randomly reveal a card. Of course, you cannot randomly reveal a card, so yeah, you point technically choose a card and, and then you reveal that card. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to be under that same ruling. Okay, fair enough. It's a clock encore, but it's red, and red so far has been crap. Can't say and you can't tuck in red though, because you know, they only have two colors. I know, but still, like, this, this card isn't looking, I mean, like, we're gonna get to a card later that's better off played at level two than th than this, and I yeah, I don't like this card. Mm, well, as for me, randomly using a card just for another extra K on a card, I don't know. Clock of cards aren't really worth it on a level two card unless it's brought early, brought out early, anyways. Which it can't be. Assuming this card can't be brought out early, if it could, then then it's debatable. But you're still losing a card if you hit. Yeah. Well, at least at least you don't have to hit a climax in this case. No, uh, it, 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 it has to be level zero character. It has to be level zero, level zero lower character. So, at the very least, it's only fifteen to sixteen hits and lower, depending on how yeah. depending on how how everything else looks like. Yeah. So if you're playing this before refresh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll just go to the next card. Illusionist from the Darkness of the Abyss, Kirito. 105k uh, blue character, mystery and gigant. Brainstorm. I can't get over how silly he looks. <laughs> yo, man, yo, man, yo, man. He looks kind of like Kaiba. Yeah, but w without the mystique and more of the, hey, I'm weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, brainstorm. <laughs> uh, for every climax, you hit, uh, pay, just pay one. If you if you're the top four for every climax, so uh, choose a gigant character and uh, give it 2k. So much better than Ma. Manabu, so yeah, there you go. You know, Kirito always go. has Kirito, has, Kirito always has some good cards. I wonder why. Hmm, not much to say on that one. It's it's uh, not, it's, it's it's gonna be a stable brainstorm. I mean, like it's pretty good. It, it's it only lose it five hundred for its brainstorm too, so it's, it could become a beater too if you really it, It's to. a standard one zero five k brainstorm because there's a couple of other series that have that in green and yellow and red. Yeah, so. yeah. Too bad when it gives two k, but can't be something like draw one discard, but whatever. Oh well. Well, 2k has been in all four colors. Uh, next card, the Cooling Breeze that blow across Manabu. 218k uh, Glass Gantry. When there's a marker on this card, this card gets 3-5 and a soul. And when you play the Climax Shining Grasshopper, put this card to memory. Then the next on the next draw phase, put this card back on field uh, with the top and, send, and put your top deck to bomb this character as a marker. Bad card. It's almost a time machine at least. It's not a time machine. I know it's not a time machine. You don't, you don't get the stock. Get stock you don't get the stock for it. I know. This card bad. Uh, Machines, positives and negatives were very on fair, ba fair and fine balance because sure you did all that. Uh, you don't care about it reversing or whatever, but when you send it to memory, you also open yourself up to a little bit more damage, especially if they're only attacking for one soul. So the fact of the matter is, if you really want to get any use out of this, you have to put this in your back row, and you have Kiritos and Brainstormers in your back row, especially the Tap 2 Brainstorm, if you can't get both Kiritos. What does that mean? This card's never seeing play. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> Unless there's a draw trigger for some dumbass reason, they might actually see play. Well, no, the, the Climax will see play, this card will just not. This card, has, this card, I don't see any purpose of it whatsoever. You either lose an attack, or you lose one of your good supports. Or you lose your brainstormer. I mean, like, there's. Oh, uh, to be honest, cure to, the cure to support is meant to be as an attacker card too. That's right, but uh, usually you cash it in around level two or three. Which, which is where it's, that's is exactly where it is. Out of a job. His judgment: this is card, bad card. I can't judge on it till I see the climax. So I don't like the card. The only thing that will redeem this for me is if this uh, card combos with a plus two soul. What's the point? I know exactly. <laughs> there is no redeeming quality in my eyes. I just don't like it at all. 
All right, um, next card is, uh, I'm just going to cover two cards at once. God Sent Child of Fertile Lands Ataru and uh, Full of Confidence Silka. They're both 3k, they're both uh, level 2 3k counters. Vanilla, let's keep going. Yeah, Vanilla, <laughs> so nothing to talk about these cards. Anyways, uh, the last card uh, for Gagant for this week is Beautiful Goddess of Water Miruko. 3 2 10k Gagant and Drunk. When you have two card, two or more other beautiful, uh, Beautiful Tsundere Girl Miracle on field. This card loses a card uh, level in your hand, and when you play this card, you draw two, then di draw up to two, then discard one. Until I know, until I know what the, the the actual other card is, I can't say nothing about this card. I thought it was already revealed on the previous. Uh, I'm just gonna double check. These are, these uh, two cards are most likely going to be level two cards. Yeah, it's it's just, I mean, I if, they, if they're if they're if they're most likely going to be level two cards, that means they most likely have a cost to them. So this card will technically be a 3-4, a 2-4 if you want to play that level 2. Not to mention you have to have two of those cards in your hand to start with. Yeah, well, my thoughts on that is that um, if they're level 2, then they're most likely support cards, like 1,000 assist or level assist, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't make sense for me if they're front row characters. There could be multiple copies of different cards like of the, of the name. How likely is that in an extra booster? Not likely, but it's still possible. Yeah, it has to be something that already like it has to be series related, like Fairy Tale, where they had like multiple Arasian size and uh, assays and whatever. I don't see it for the series, um, and I I honestly don't think this it. card. I honestly don't think this card's going to get played in the first place. The fact that all it does is minus one card, and then all you do is get plus one off the top of your deck doesn't really mean much. I think this is more likely to see played than the two one nine five clock on core. It depends how much stock you're willing to pay out. That's true. Found it. Level 2 cost 1. No, nope, okay, drop. 4500 power, it's a level support on play, ditch a climax to salvage. Oh, okay, never mind, that's another story. I don't know now. I don't know now. Uh, you probably end up playing the level support because you don't have anything better than other than Kirito. The fact that you need 2 on your field, that means you're not using Kirito anymore. Anyways, um, now that we know what the card is, uh, level support, um, now I don't think it's worth the cost. I agree. Um, I think ditch a climax to salvage is an interesting tech, but just because I'd run the level assist doesn't mean I'd run the level three. Yeah, basically, you probably end up playing the level, yeah, level, the level assist most likely because it being extra boosted, the, mo the most likely won't have another level two support that actually does anything better. Actually, I think that's probably gonna be the best, best level two support, anyways. Uh, being as for this card, I don't think it's being played just because of the fact that it's gonna cost too much stock just to get this card out. It does <laughs> nothing. It does nothing but let you draw another card. Yep, um, Yay. yep, so that's the end of that. Uh, we'll just go to the next series, uh, Nanoha. Let's cover Cell first. Cell? No, okay, we'll cover Cell first. Because you already covered the Silica, so we might Yeah, I guess well, so. Alright, the next Cell card we're going to be covering is Machine of Ice Xenon. Uh, 2, 1, 3k, Avatar Weapon Trait. All cards in front of this gains 1k, and then you can rest this to choose one of your opponent's character. If it does, when this card battles, they, they cannot counter, they cannot counter in any way. Basically, people just call this a kaiki uh, type of kaiki, but does I honestly think it's better than kaiki because you know it's actual support. Well, yeah, because <laughs> kaiki doesn't really add anything. Yo, man, let's give one card minus five hundred. Oh, Actually, no, which, which, which could which is technically a good could be a good thing depending on your opponent's field, but yeah, of that's course. about it. Like if they're if they're still running five hundred power assist, then you just kill them. This this in the hand has more has more uh more more of a long lasting effect. It, this will be really good. In, assume it lasts that long. This will be really good with the two two character gain to marker every every reverse it has because now oh, they know sick. now 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 they have no no worries of being countered at all unless they're like <laughs> playing against unless they're playing a deck like um, Vivid or Kantai. Well, yeah, Kantai too, and uh, Sierra Sierra Takama. Basically, on basically on, basically on stage counter will not get affected by this because they're technically by effects, not by counters. So other than that, they. It, 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 this card would totally cover just about every just every counter. No, for making it every counter besides those kite. As our Sal player said, Mono Blue Sal is looking better and better. Uh, I'm not sure about Mono Blue. I don't think anyone's gonna play Mono Blue, but. Well, yeah, but like Mono Blue as is is looking better. That support is competing with Yui and um, Lisbeth, and I think while the effect is relevant, the fact that you need to tap it is kind of a problem when you typically brainstorm at level two with Cell, um, tapping both characters with the Silica for Wait. salvaging late game. There's still, uh, my... the, there's still the possibility of them getting a spammable salvage, uh, a spammable brainstorm that's actually relevant. Mm, there is already one. The one that you play at level zero, um, one k and plus one level when you're one or less other characters, and that one's also a brainstorm. Pretty some decks run decline brainstorm, 
but I oh yeah, I forgot. That's right. I forgot about the I forgot about the climb brainstorm. That's right. That card's a good card. Yeah, but the one I want to focus on is the Asuna one because that's your anti-level suicider. Uh, I mean, anti-level. Uh, I don't. Yeah, anti-suicider level zero. That takes the place of Kirito's strong bond because you can play two characters instead of one. At the same time, it's it's your spammable brainstorm, so it's relevant at all times of the game. Well, anyways, I think this is a good card. Yeah, I, 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 I I can see some old South players actually might buy TD just to get this card. Anyways, I think that was the last South card. Yep, this week. because we covered Silica already, so now we can. <laughs> no, like we like we had to like we had to cover Silica. Anyways, uh, <laughs> okay. So um, first off is the Vita card, Vulcan Vita, uh, Vita, red character, one one seven five with the magic and doll trait. Yeah. If you have zero cards in your clock, this card can't attack. For an oversize, that's pretty good. Yeah. Of course, it's totally shit if you just enter level 1, but that's another of story. Course. Yeah, but typically the magic builds right now are running uh, the Sonic Form Fate because 7 5 on attack with character Encore is pretty good for free memory and a blood K boost to something else. It's I, I think people will still run that. This card doesn't really change much. In my opinion, um, the only thing that will stop people from doing is playing the one zero seven K Vita. Cause they were playing that one for to, like okay, it's um one one seven K for oh one one seven five for a turn. Oh one zero, sorry. And then they would just be going down to five K again. And I think you could replace that with this card. I assume you don't just assume you're okay to paint the stock and possible yeah. demerit if you cannot if you not being able to play it, uh, not being able to use it right away. Oh, no. Of course, there's no chances of uh, you um, not going to be able to use use this card to attack in future turns because for some reason you have no more clock. Well, here's the other thing. If you're running Vita um, at level 1, that means you're also running Vita at level 0. And Vita at level 0 has an accelerate ability, so you can make yourself get out of 0 cards and clock. Oh, okay, fair enough then. In that case, um, this card would definitely be used in a Vita deck probably. Uh, if, you're, if you're running Vita at level 1 and 0. Some magic builds don't. Um, I don't see this in any other build. I don't see this in the Mono Vita deck, for example. This card doesn't fit. All right. Uh, Vulcan Vita, uh, Zafira, uh, 003500 power with Familiar and Animal. When this card is reversed, put it on the bottom of its owner's deck. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you so, first start with, you can't encore this card, so no matter what. Why would you want to encore at level zero? You never know. There might be those cases where you have to do it. That's true. Um, to me, um, I see this as an interesting tech, and I think it replaces a good number of 3500s in the in the series. Um, you could definitely get rid of the Nanoha that requires two or more other magic characters. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's instant replacement there. Yeah, yeah, instant replacement there. Um, you don't. And this could technically also replace the 4K Fates if you really don't want to take that extra damage. I still, I, I still rather take the Fate. You'd rather take the fate, but only as a two of like if you you don't really want four of. Do you? No, no, that card, that card of four, no way, hell no. No, no. <laughs> Maybe no. two, two or three, four, only four of if it's in a not in a fate deck though. Actually, even probably then, not even then. Maybe three, to be honest. <laughs> okay, honestly, maybe three in a fate in a in a fate deck, but uh, yeah. not that many. But this card has a lot more other interesting options. At just when you're about to refresh, you can ram this in, put it at the bottom of your deck for a free for to guarantee that you know that your last card is not a climax or. Whichever, um, you can you can ram this into a character that kicks the clock on both turns, so that you don't actually get kicked the clock. There's a couple of different interactions that are si slightly niche, but also help to put this card in the playable realm. In the worst case, you can always search it out again. Yeah. <laughs> in the worst case, you can always search the card out again. Because you know they do have their own searcher. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, think of it. They can't search for magic cards. Never mind. This this can't this that card can't search that card. Yeah, but you can still brainstorm for it because it's a familiar. And, well, yeah, but you have to hit the brainstorm. So. Yeah. Does the new brainstorm searches for magic? Uh, clone Fami or familiar. So. Yeah, it will search. It will be able to search for this card. Although you'll probably be searching for elf with that with a card like that though. Yeah, of course. If you have if you have three, I mean, you might as well. <laughs> Okay, and finally, Plasma Zamber, Breaker, Fate, oh boy. Level 3 cost 2, finally a 10,000 power Fate. Yep, um, uh, all Fate cards always been 9-5 face. Yeah, even the red one. <laughs> even the red one. With Magic and Clone, when this card comes into play, you can pay 1 and ditch a Fate or an Arf to bounce a cost 1 or lower character from your opponent's field, and this card gets plus 1 soul for the turn. And this card ability can be activated once per turn. During the turn that this is played, when this card attacks and the damage is cancelled, uh, you may 
mill the top card of your deck and deal X damage to your opponent where X is the level of that card plus one. So my opinion is, well, the, well, the second effect is always going to be good. So this base, yeah. to me, this basically the the second effect basically has to really goes down to do you want to play Signum? Do you want or do you want to play Fate or do you just want to play both? Um, well, Sig Signum is the shot trigger. Uh, like a, like a deal one on cancel. I think that there's more options for fate, and the fact of the matter is that this one can side attack threes with a climax for one soul, and that's probably the major point of this whole thing. The strength of the Musashi effect, which is the original owner of this, is that the later iterations are able to side attack, and this one can also pump its soul on play, which is really when you're going to need the Musashi effect in the first place. I'll be now, honest. The cost one is a slightly niche, I guess. I mean, like, I guess if you want to bounce a Yo, yo, I'll be honest, you, you're gonna do that, you just wanna do it for the soul. Yeah, you're, you're doing it mainly for the soul. On fringe abilities, you guess you could bounce a level assist or something. If the Nanoa has anything to do with reversing a character, then that would be the main reason why. Other than that, uh, uh, I, I think it's better off that you... I, I'll be honest, I don't think it's worth, the first effect is not even worth playing. You, you'd be playing solely for the second effect. The first effect, if it's like something went out of control, like... um. I don't know, like a marker card went way out of there. Well, yeah, of course, but that still doesn't stop the aforementioned Kirito marker. Well, if it could, if it could, I'll I'll totally use this card to bounce share. If it just said bounce a card, that'll be that'll be that'll be in a different story. I'll I'll I'll, I'll probably put in like two or three copies. If it said level two or lower. What if it said level two or lower? That's, yeah. Now then it becomes a debatable. Then it becomes debatable. But it's cost one or lower, so at least it's not as stupid as the Nanoha from a uh, Gears of Destiny trial deck, because that's stupid. But yeah, anyways, uh, this card, you po you probably use this card solely for the second effect. The first effect is debatable. If you really need the extra soul, then that's, then there you go. Yeah, um, but I think the plus one soul is actually really relevant because, like I mentioned earlier, the ability to side attack with a climax for one soul is actually really good. Like you can, with that plus one soul, you're able to put this character in a position where you can side attack what you need to. For for that potential burn or for the finishing blow, um, I think that that in itself makes this card really strong. In the worst case, you could just forget all about that and just play both Signal and Fate at the same time. Well, yeah, um, but then where are you putting your healers? What healers? Because the Fate healers actually is not bad as well. I know that. But I'm just saying. What what healers? Yeah, that's my deck there. Okay. <laughs> uh, the only the only only healers that are relevant is the Fate Healer, and if you really want to, the Hayate Healer from Ace. Those are the most those are the two most relevant healers, and I, I admit that that I'm stretching for the second one. <laughs> well, it's true. Like that card does actually see play as a one of. Uh, um. Sadly. So yeah, as far as as far as the ability goes, um. Uh, they basically this card basically competing with Signum. Sig it, it beats Signum as as a, as a game vendor, but I definitely don't think it beats Signums in terms of uh, other utilities. Yeah, Signum's better at clearing, though it also gives your opponent uh, compression in case they refresh again. Um, also, the shot trigger can go rat wildly out of control, and you could act, um you could mill with level three instead of a level zero or whatever, and end up doing four damage, and which is more likely to cancel than one. Uh, barring that, though, I think. Um, and uh, I think this goes down to play preference. We don't even know Signum is going to be this new. Uh, it's going to be in this uh, booster yet. Uh, yeah, it's confirmed. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. There you go. It's been confirmed. It was confirmed when it was first announced because everything from the second and first movie is going to be there, barring certain vanillas. Vanillas. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. That uh that cards that is the this card of the week. Um not much to say about it. Some good cards, some bad cards, some vanilla cards. <laughs> <laughs> vanilla cards, yes. Uh as far as uh, new announcements and, and things like that, nothing been nothing's really been announced barring the uh magazine. So and even then it doesn't it doesn't do anything but uh show and uh showing off uh reprint cards of Nanoha as far as as far as as far as pictures I've seen. But those pictures look really nice. Oh no, the picture looks nice. I know. I admit, the picture looks nice, but um, it doesn't really give us any new information. Oh, of course. Um, the only other thing I can basically mention is that there's a rules update for those uh, of you that are English players and uh, following us. We it was updated as of today, and the major point of note is that if there's a discrepancy between the English and Japanese rules, the Japanese takes precedence. If there's an 
discrepancy between the English and Japanese text, the Japanese takes precedence. And that changes a bunch of things, most particularly club leader Nico in Love Live and the upcoming Dojima in Persona 4 version E. I suppose, um, I suppose Umi, Brainstorm Umi. Well, okay, those are the major ones because those are the ones that affected the most play because you could give it up your level to your opponent and that was a major point of contention. And Umi wasn't? Uh, Umi wasn't to the point where they got SEA the wrong answer like multiple times. Like, w we've had multiple emails to uh, Bushiro and SEA saying like, uh, you can you can tap this to give a level. How come we can't do it in English version? And they keep responding with this generic, "No, you can't do it." So I think it was I think it was worth. It. I understand where the Umi brainstorm part uh, came from. Yeah, because sure the Japanese ones uh, had all the text at one line, and the English one didn't. And as far as as far as what it means, it it means the shuffling the deck part because Ubi require you to search. The Japanese one had all in one line, so that means if you miss the brain if you miss the brainstorm, you don't get the shuffle. But yet the English one la had them all separate. So in that case, because the ruling said you must be able to fulfill the fill the text as much as possible, that means you you search for nothing. You you basically search for nothing, then shuffle. Yeah, and the funny thing is that because it's. Uh, the correct, uh, like how that is phrased, is actually exactly the same as the Homura brainstorm, which, by the way, is actually worded the same way as it is in English and Japanese. You do have to shuffle even if you don't. Uh, Homura is a different story. That's how that's yeah. they, that's that was intended. Yeah, that one that one's correct. The Love Life one isn't, but I think that the SEA version of Bushi Road decided to just copy paste it. Basically, uh, basically, basically SEA became lazy. They don't want to deal with it anymore. I didn't want to go that far, but sure. All right. So other than that, I think that's it. Closing remarks, anybody? Anyways, that's just me. I know. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, that's it. Um. Gagant is coming out next week. So for those who actually do plan to get it, um, have fun with that. And um, yep. Uh, we'll all see you next week or whenever, whenever we feel like releasing a video. Well, considering that we're going to have like the English regionals uh, next week and that there's most likely not going to be a video, I'll probably redo the call cards of the day. Oh, thing. yeah. Oh, oh, wait, really? Like a daily upload. Yeah, there's, there was already plans to not have a video this week. So if that ends up being true, I'll just do a whole cards of the day thing like I did, did uh, before. Mm, wow, I don't even care for I don't care for South TDs or any or well, I don't really care for South TDs or Gangan in the first place. So whatever, okay, I don't care. Sure.